trying to put together a run here. And now up by five as Jack Clark has been the man of this first half, finishing with authority. Clifton Moore has been one of the top scorers during 8-10 play. Christian Ray on the offensive rebound, and he's going to shoot two free throws. And again, the Bigs doing some damage on the offensive glass for the South. Yeah, and Christian Ray doing a tremendous job here, just establishing position. He's actually not even inside that time, but he goes right over the top. He's just super athletic. Ashley Howard said we need to disrupt. Good anticipation by Andre Gustafsson coming off the bench. Gets the steal. Gilliard probably has the best sense of the game of any player that Mooney has ever seen. And again, Chris Mooney has been at this school for almost two decades. Very impressive. And Golden, of course, Grant Golden has been establishing himself in the paint. This is a guy who can put it on the deck like a guard. The only player for this LaSalle squad in double figures on the game is Grace. Goes hard to the hole. Gustafsson. And it's denied at the basket as the horn sounds and time expires. That's what a block to end the frame. <laughs> really good defense. And this is a, a very good, like I've, I've mentioned throughout this broadcast, a good defensive team and an even better play here from Clifton Moore. So you can win games with your defense. Clifton Moore, the second LaSalle player into double figures on the day, joining Jack Clark as he ties this game at 33. They're trying to get things back on track and have to do it in a hurry. And there's a rare three-point basket. Check this out. It's all off of penetration and pitch, and Gilliard began the penetration and pitch, and then he relocated. That's smart basketball. He's not that typical Richmond player in terms of being able to shoot from the perimeter. He really does everything else. He just knows how to play the game. Brickus left wide open, and the team's top three-point shooter is not going to miss that. What Richmond's doing well is they're really forcing LaSalle to take high degree of difficulty shots, and they're allowing the shot clock to get ground down. And that's where it's all started. And Golden makes it a double-digit lead for the Spiders. Grant Golden, we said it earlier, earlier the college basketball, Nikola Jokic with the finish. I thought he got bumped as well, but nice two-man game with the flush, but he's just been terrific. Nickelberry, step back three. He's relentless offensively. Even though he was missing early, he's come back with a vengeance here now and starting to pick up the pace. Coming up on the final three minutes. KO with two to shoot. Wow. <laughs> right at the buzzer. A bad man, like they say. Terrific play. And KO here backing it down and staying with it. He just withstands some reaching, some contact, and he finishes strong. And Richmond, I think that they were pretty good today. Not a lot of threes made on either side. But I think defense won this ball game, that's for sure. And that will close it out. It's an eight-point win for the Spiders on the road. And for Richmond head coach Chris Booney, his 300th career win as the head coach at Richmond.